Hello students, uh, in this video on anti-ulcer drugs part 5, we will study pharmacology of uh, cytoprotective drug that is sucralfate. Uh, sucralfate is a unique drug. Uh, this is a drug that acts locally and promotes healing of uh, duodenal and gastric ulcers. Now sucralfate is a basic aluminium salt of sulfated sucrose. Now a very important characteristic feature of uh, uh, sucralfate Sucralfate so, polymerizes at a pH of uh, uh, less than 4, uh, that is acidic pH, uh, by cross-linking of its molecules. Now, due to cross-linking of its molecules, it assumes a sticky gel-like consistency. And uh, uh, its mechanism of action, it acts locally. It preferentially and strongly adhere to ulcer base. That means it covers the ulcer base, uh, specifically the duodenal ulcers and this covering, uh, this uh, covering of gel, uh, it uh, protects the ulcer lesions uh, from the corrosive effect of acid, proteolytic effect of pepsin and the harmful effect of bile. So this covering of uh, sucralfate acts as a physical barrier preventing acid, pepsin and bile coming in contact with the ulcer base. Now it remains adherent to uh, ulcer base for about uh, 6 hours. Uh, it's mi minimally absorbed after oral administration. However, it is infrequently used now uh, because of the requirement of 4 large uh, well-timed uh, daily doses. The patient compliance is not uh, good. The patient compliance is poor uh, because of this uh, mm, uh, dosage schedule. And apart from this, uh, uh, its uh, use has been declined because of the availability of uh, convenient and more effective H2 antagonist and proton pump inhibitors. Now, important to note that antacids H2 antagonist and proton pump inhibitors should not be taken along with the sucralfate because uh, these drugs, uh, they reduce the gastric acidity and uh, sucralfate requires acidic medium for its polymerization, for its uh, mechanism of action, for forming the uh, coating over the ulcer bases. Now talking about the side effects of uh, sucralfate, sucralfate has a few side effects. It can cause constipation. It can also cause uh, hypophosphatemia by binding to phosphate ions. And uh, infrequently uh, it causes dry mouth and nausea. Uh, talking about the indications, sucralfate promotes healing of uh, duodenal and uh, gastric ulcers. And secondly, in intensive care unit, that is in ICU, acid suppressant prophylaxis of uh, stress ulcer is done on routine basis. Now, sucralfate provides effective prophylaxis of uh, stress ulcers without acid suppression. And thus, it is, a, it is an alternative of uh, H2 blockers and proton pump inhibitors. So, it is uh, uh, used uh, in the prophylaxis of uh, stress ulcers. Now, apart from this, uh, since sucralfate forms a protective covering over ulcer bases, uh, uh, protecting the uh, ulcer lesions, protecting the ulcerative tissue, it protects uh, stomach and esophagus against the bile reflux and uh, it is also useful in gastritis. Now, uh, coming to the drug interactions, uh, since uh, sucralfate absorbs many drugs, it thus interferes with the absorption of uh, certain drugs like uh, tetracycline, fluoroquinolones, simetinine, uh, phenytoin and digoxin. So, this is in brief on sucralfate. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Please note, very important to note that the information provided in this video is meant only for students from their examination point of view. Consult your physician for the treatment of uh, peptic ulcer disease and hyperacidity related disorders. Thanks for watching the video.